Oh, Sean, you're ready? Okay, uh, let me let me get my okay. So whenever you're ready. Hello, I'm Sean. Uh, today I want to introduce my product, I Shi Ji. Uh, it's an app to help people in Taiwan find delicious food. Uh, we want to do this product because we find there's a problem in Taiwan that uh, we don't like we don't like American people have a good food app like Yelp. So in America, when you want to find food nearby, you just open Yelp. But in Taiwan, if you want to find restaurant and you open the app built by Taiwan people, then you will find many information. But it's really hard to choose one good restaurant here. So what's the solution now people use in Taiwan? They have to enter the keyword to Google and use their computer. Um, and I think it's a very outdated way. They, people in Taiwan just use Google to find blogger. They introduce some restaurant they recommend and use and people in Taiwan will take this recommend restaurant. So I, th I think now is a generation that people use mobile device. So I think there should be an app to help people to find food in Taiwan. Based on the solution of Google it, we we collect many bloggers article. They they are famous blogger. They introduce many restaurants in their blog. We put that in our app and put them on the map. So if you download our app, when you open it, you will find the restaurant nearby that recommend by blogger. So you can you can see what the newest most recommended restaurant near you. <laughs> so, but if you really download our app, I think maybe you will be very disappointed because you might think, oh, it's just a blog reader. You can you can see it like an app like Yelp. But in fact, this is the result that we follow the guideline of Thinkstar. It's a minimal viable product. It's very easy, it's very simple product. But when we release to the market, then it get a good result. We get 800,000 app download and 200,000 monthly active user. And we just released last year. And Google Play also features as their best best app last year. So what's the key feature of our app? In our app, when you open it, you can see different information every day. So you open it today or you open it next week, you will see different information. It's just like Facebook feed. You will, so user in our app just keep coming back to check what's the hottest restaurant this month or what's the hottest restaurant next month. And another feature of our app is that we really focus on social connection. When users want to collect, uh, collect restaurant in our app, they can do a action called February. When they do that, they have to log in by Facebook. <clears throat> so in our app, every user have real identity and real name. People here can see the common and recommendation by real people. I think it's the key that people build trust. So that's one of our key features. Oh, uh, I'm Sean, and these are my two partners. 
Eric and Steve. We are three engineers. And I, in the last three years, I am in a tech, uh, technical company, technical staff. And we are both, uh, we are both focused on this project now, full time. So our future goal is that now we have 200,000 monthly active users. But in the next year, we want to, we want to get 600,000 monthly active users. And so now we are just focused on our product market fit. Uh, if you download our app, you will find out there are, you can just read article. But now we are building some feature like Yelp. So people can rating on the restaurant and see this restaurant on the map. And our, our future goal is that we want to go to mobile payment market. So I think it's a very large market in Taiwan. Uh, so this is our, our chart. We are still growing. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay. So now we want some, when we are ready, we want some promotion. And another thing is we may need some funding. How much are you looking for? Uh, about two, 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 two. two. Questions from the floor. <laughs> no, but the uh, uh, damping, uh, right? Dim There's damping. How, how do you position against uh, damping? Uh, damping is mainly in China. I think you're talking about IP. Yeah. No, I think it's in China. I mean, they have the same one. Oh, IP. Yeah. Um, in fact, Jack Song Wen, it's like. So don't say anything you'll regret. Yeah, okay. 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 So <laughs> it's a great competitor. I learned so much <laughs> from IT. So Erica will be happy. Yeah, I, I think they do great thing on the restaurant CRM about the post system. But for the for the customer side, like uh, when user want to search a restaurant, use the app, I think there's something can improve. So so our app so I think that's the reason why when our app released there are many people want to download it. Because it's a it's a problem that's not solved in Taiwan. Yeah. Okay, questions? Frank, 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 you're the expert in this. Yeah. Uh, this one thing. So, uh, now we have 10,000 10, login users. They are all Facebook login. And they have 800. Yeah, 800,000 fabric in our app. That means they are they have connection. They have 800,000 connection with restaurant. So in the next step, we will convert this connection. So that uh, when I favorite a restaurant, I just subscribe to a restaurant. So uh, in the future, we will pitch to a restaurant. You can push notification to this subscriber. And when you have event or when you have some uh, deal, 
then you can push to the subscriber in our app. So I, I think that's our, yeah. Questions? Yeah. All right. Okay, thank you. Thank you. All right.